All right, guys, chapter one OG is finally out. And of course we have a full brand new or returning loot pool for me to rank. Of course, in today's video, I'm going to rank every single chapter one season one OG returning Fortnite weapon from worst to best. I have been playing all day, I've been watching gameplay all day, so I feel like I do have a substantial enough amount of time with each of these weapons to pretty accurately rank them, but of course, things will change in the coming months. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe, and use code TIEFRIES in the Fortnite item shop when you buy that Chapter 1 Season 1 OG Battle Pass. With all that being said, let's get right into this. At my number 14 spot, the worst item in this season so far, it is the Semi-Auto Sniper. For all of you newer players, you are used to the good semi-auto sniper, the one that can one-shot headshot, the one that's doing, you know, 85, 90, 95 damage to the body, but we are going way back in time, and at this time, the semi-auto sniper was horrible, and that is still the case. They reverted all the old damage numbers, headshot multipliers, all that stuff. This purple semi-auto sniper does 63 damage to the body. That is horrible. There is absolutely no reason right now to take the semi-auto sniper over the bull action sniper. It's that simple. Just take the bull every single time. Anyways, moving on to my number 13 spot, that's going to be the revolver. And I think some people are going to be upset at me on this one. Look, like the revolver has its place. We haven't seen this model of the revolver come back in quite a bit of time. So I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of revolver fans are excited to use it. I just think like the revolver was so much better back then when people weren't building that often and the movement is a lot slower. Now we have super fast movement, tax burning, sliding, jumping, all this crazy stuff. And that really hurts a single fire weapon with revolver that requires a lot of accuracy. Accuracy. Again, like I think it has its times when it's good to use and it can excel in certain moments, but I don't think the revolver should be a go-to weapon you're looking to use in this current season of Fortnite. And at my number 12 spot is going to be the pistol. Do not sleep on this version of the pistol because I know it says semi-auto pistol, but if you don't know, this pistol is automatic. Just hold down the trigger and it'll fire as fast as it possibly can. That is obviously a big change from the original Chapter 1 Season 1 pistol, which was truly semi-automatic where you had to pull the trigger every time to take a shot. Now, just hold it down and fire away. Again, like, I think you could switch this spot with the revolver. Like, I think they're interchangeable. The pistol does have some times where it can be decent, but I don't see any reason why you would take this over an SMG or an AR, for example. The pistol really isn't even supposed to be good, right? It's just supposed to be that starter weapon you find at the bottom of the house, kill somebody, and then just upgrade to a new weapon. At my number 11 spot, I'm ready for the outrage in the comment section. It's the tactical SMG. All right, I have some explaining to do here because the tactical SMG really isn't that bad at all. The only problem is the range at which you are supposed to use this weapon is just absolutely dominated by double pump right now. So what that means is there's really no use for the tactical SMG at close range. Everybody that I'm coming across is using double pump or pump tax, some iteration of that, and then holding, you know, your regular AR or scar for the kind of follow up if you need it. Again, like, I don't think this weapon is bad. I just don't think it has a place in the game right now. And that's just not this SMG. That's almost all of the close quarter weapons. It's being dominated by double pump. And since we're talking about SMGs, at the number 10 spot is going to be, well, the regular SMG. This version of the SMG has not been in the game for, like, seven years, which is crazy to be using it again. And this weapon was, like, widely known as, like, being the worst SMG ever, one of the worst weapons in Fortnite history. So I'm proud to say that it's made it decently high on this list, at least higher than I expected it would. It feels a lot better with the good movement, you know, being able to close the gap on people a lot more. It feels a lot more accurate, and if you just stick that gun in their face, you're gonna beam them pretty quickly. Again, like, I am pleasantly surprised with how good I felt this SMG is. Again, the only downside is the close quarters engagements are all dominated by the pump shotgun right now, so it's just, you know, don't take an SMG. It's nothing against the fall of this weapon, it's just double pump is crazy right now. Moving on to my number 9 spot is going to be the scoped AR. And if you guys haven't found this weapon yet in this season, I wouldn't be surprised it only comes in blue through legendary rarities. I've only used it actually once. I've just been watching a ton of gameplay of everyone else using it. And I gotta be honest with you, it's just a little bit disappointing. I was never really a scoped AR fan from the beginning. I can see why people would like this weapon. It's pretty simple at this point. Would you have a scar or would you rather have a scoped AR, right? I think everybody can agree we would rather have a scar. Again, like I hate to keep kind of like honing on this same point here, but I just, I really don't see a spot in the game for the scoped AR right now. With that being said, if you do have good aim and this map is quite open, you can have success with the scoped AR. I will say that, but not really for me. Anyways, moving on to my number eight spot, that is going to be the grenade launcher. Again, the grenade launcher itself is not a weapon that we've seen in honestly a little bit now. 
this is an absolute staple Fortnite weapon, so I'm super glad that it's in the game right now. I just don't think it's as good as it used to be. The grenade launcher was at its peak when people weren't really that good at building, right? Think about it. You just send a bunch of grenades at them. People didn't really know how to build, and so they would just get destroyed by your grenades. Now, with the new mobility and how proficient players are in building, I don't really see the grenade launcher at its peak potential right now. I will say, though, like, if somebody is in a box and you have a grenade launcher, you're probably going to kill them, and that's what this weapon is made to do, and it does do that effectively. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, I am having a tough time finding rockets anywhere, so, you know, if you're going to use the grenade launcher, you're probably only going to be able to use it for like one or two kills max, and you're probably going to have to drop it because you're going to run out of rockets. With that all being said though, the grenade launcher is still a solid option for destruction this season. At my number seven spot is going to be the classic bull action sniper. Definitely the superior sniper this season. I don't really see where you can go wrong with the bull action. It feels like to me, especially when I'm in the end games, every single person has a bull action. It feels like they're extremely common, and it doesn't surprise me that a lot of people are opting to carry bull action because one, there's not a ton of shield in the game, so snipers are even more effective, and that also means people have an inventory slot, an extra one, because a lot of people aren't really able to carry shield or, like, utility items, for example, like mobility items that would normally be in that, you know, fourth slot, people are now taking snipers. Obviously, the bolt is only good in one scenario, right? It's not good at close quarters, it's kind of decent at mid-range, you're really gonna excel at those long-range engagements with the bolt, but you can one-shot headshot, and that is massive. It's the good old bull action sniper. It's not great, it's not terrible, and that is why it's literally at the 50% mark in this list. Here comes another hot take at my number six spot. It is the burst AR. I know I'm going to catch so much slack in the comment section for this pick. There is just such a cult following for this weapon. Every single time I talk negatively about it, there's always a group of people that just absolutely hate me for it. I'm just not on the burst AR hype train. I'm really not. Here's what I will say, and I will give you credit for this. The blue burst and higher rarities is absolutely incredible. That is a top tier assault rifle and definitely rivals the SCAR. The only problem is that common and green burst is really not good. Like when you use this thing, you feel that burst delay. It feels really long. It's the classic argument, right? It's like pump first tack. It's like regular assault rifle or burst assault rifle. And I am on the stand of the regular assault rifle. If you are able to hit one, even two headshots, you are going to absolutely melt somebody. We all know how satisfying it is to one burst. I think the burst assault rifle is good, but not great this season. And since I'm here yapping about assault rifles right now, let's talk about the number five spot, which is going to be just that, the basic assault rifle, that, you know, M16 looking assault rifle. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is a classic Fortnite weapon. I know I keep saying that because they are all classics, but this weapon does everything right. Doesn't matter, right? At close range, mid range, long range, this is the gun to use. It is absolutely destroying this season. I don't really have like a ton of nitpicks for this assault rifle. It's meant to be what it currently is. Very balanced, good fire rate, good damage, good accuracy, just good in all aspects. Also, let me just say something. I'm so glad they brought back the OG sound for this weapon. It sounds fantastic. It is amazing. And I can't believe we ever lost the sound of this assault rifle. At my number four spot, again, another hot take here. It is the tactical shotgun. Given that there are really only two shotguns in the game right now, honestly, any shotgun you pick up is is going to be pretty decent. Again, like I said, there is barely any shield on this map. There are not a lot of chests. And so shotguns, which are able to land huge shots, 100 damage plus, are really, really good this season. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, pump attack combos that are going around. Unfortunately, the attack shotgun just gets outshined by the pump shotgun. It's that simple. I think the pump is better. It's it's that flat out simple. I think the pump is so much better. And for that reason, the attack shotgun is just a little bit lower than it, but the attack is still a solid option. It's the age old argument. Do I take the pump or do I take the attack? It'll never be solved. Anyways, moving on to my number three spot. It is the RPG. And you want to talk about another weapon that has not been in the game for years. I don't know whatever happened to the RPG, but it is back like it never left. 110 damage plus in most variants of this RPG. This thing hits absolutely different this season. A lot of players probably haven't even gotten their hands on an RPG yet. I think the easiest way to get it by far is just out of supply drops and get that purple and legendary variant. But I don't know like if it's just me, but this RPG, I forgot how good it was. I will say it's not as good as it has been previously just because again, players are more proficient in building. Players are able to counter your RPG a lot and rockets are not that common on this map. You guys got to remember also no llamas, none of those like chapter two crazy ammo crates that give you a ton. So rockets are definitely hard to come by, but if you're able to get yourself a couple, get an RPG, I would absolutely 100% take it this season. All right, moving on to my number two spot. It really shouldn't be a surprise. It's this high on the list. It is the scar. 
Oh man, that OG scar sound is so crispy. I, I really missed it. Besides the sound of the weapon, we all know the scar. It has had so many different iterations over the years. It has been in the game for so long, and it is a dominant assault rifle. We're not talking about, you know, the chapter four scar here with horrible bloom. This is the chapter one scar. This is one of the best assault rifles of all time. And in terms of ranged weapons this season, you would be a fool to leave a scar behind. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that. 35 damage to the body crazy headshot multipliers. Like I just said, this should be your ranged weapon of choice. And honestly, it doesn't feel as rare. Like I feel like I'm seeing the scar everywhere, especially out of supply drops. That thing is dropping like crazy. It's pretty simple. If you find a scar on the ground, please take it. You are not going to regret it. But it should not be any surprises to the number one spot. It is easily the best weapon this season. And one of the best Fortnite weapons of all time, it is the pump shotgun. This thing hits like an absolute tank and it's because of that headshot multiplier. I, I could be wrong here, but to my knowledge, the headshot multipliers on the shotgun is a lot more than we've seen previously. So even though the green shotgun only hits for 95, you have a 1.5 times headshot multiplier, so you're able to hit for over 200 in a common and green variant. And now paired that absolutely insane damage with double pump, one of the most broken mechanics of all time that's currently kind of running this game at any close quarters, you're just going to see people running double pump. It is clearly the best weapon this season. Here's what I will say, and I have to put like a little asterisk on this placement. Fortnite literally came out and said themselves that this is temporary. Double pump will not be in the game for a lot longer. It is temporary, and I think removing double pump definitely would change up some of the placements on this list, so just keep that in mind here. But for now, when I have a common pump hitting for over 200, and I can have two of them and swap back to them instantly, there's no need for an SMG. This gun is an absolute bulldozer right now, and you would be a fool to not be taking double pump in the current state of this season. Alright guys, well that is my final ranking for every single Chapter 1, Season 1 OG Fortnite weapon. Let me know in the comment section below. I tried to keep all nostalgia out of this and just focus on how they are in the current state of the game. So let me know what your ranking is looking like and how you're enjoying Chapter 1, Season 1. I'm so glad that so many of you guys are getting to enjoy or at least partially enjoy this time of Fortnite because it was truly a, a different breed of video game. This season right here started one of, if not the best video game of our generation. And so make sure to enjoy it while you can, because it won't be here forever. With all that being said, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.